Hello and welcome to my recording session where I do some kind of tutorial about design patterns in Java. Today I want to discuss pattern decorator, but let me introduce myself. Who am I? I am a freelancer out of Germany, this base of Nuremberg. So here you have my contact information what kind of services I do provide, software development for my clients, I help them to create automatic unit tests to improve software quality, I, I do some trainings at the client site and I even help job seekers to find suitable company. So if you have any specific uh, software engineering related question, here you have my contact information, my email, my website even my Android app, so here you go. And let's discuss stuff with design patterns. So basically, um, as I said earlier in my previous videos, I discuss and review patterns which are presented in the book Head First Design Patterns. So, and basically uh, the book authors, they use good example for the pattern decorator you see currently a UML so basically it goes like this I have two abstract classes and from the class um, condiment decorator I have uh, classes which inherit from this condiment decorator class milk soy mocha whip Milk I actually didn't implement it, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's the same behavior as a, as a swap in other classes. And then on the other side I have abstract beverage and classes like house blend, dark roast, decaf, all of these classes they have direct inheritance to the abstract beverage class. And actually I was able uh, to produce some code with tests and it is already on github so let's just look how exactly decorator pattern works so basically I have stuff like um, VIP access mocha mocha access the dark roast type and to show you the code, let me show you the code. So how it looks like, decorate a test. First, I make sure that I can create those objects, pretty simple test. And then I start to make sure that I actually access the values. So I did try it out like express object and I actually know the values are defined. There are static values in the each of the type of the coffee type and more interesting here like for example for example here here I'm creating mocha class instance and then I get through the mocha object the description and I have the situation I passing through the constructor of mocha the type of coffee and then I get the description and when, when I run this test, it should be successful, so I, I expect to have dark roast coffee mocha as a return and, the, and it passes green. The same I do with the price, so I do not access directly the coffee type, I access uh, indirectly. And how my mocha class looks like, just pretty simple, so beverage. As I said earlier, it is an abstract class. It's defined, it's defined like this. And I inherit get description and method cost. And then just over, over, overwrite it. Actually, it's overwriting. Overwriting, over, overwriting, I think. I can sometimes be wrong with that. Um, but here I have my uh, methods which can be called from mocha instance and the same goes for the whip and the soya so i have indirect access 
to the coffee type. So I'm only accessing it via my decorator glasses. And it is quite interesting. Uh, I think it's I see it a lot in projects. So decorator pattern actually real type of pattern which you can use in your project. It uh, it allow you to add additional behavior to your classes. So I don't know if you want to have additional uh, price calculated to your price tag. It is quite interesting type of pattern. So I think this pattern pretty amazing. And you can test it like like this. So I'm testing Mocha, I'm testing Whip and I'm testing Soya. So 27 tests, all passing green. And just go through to, to my GitHub, you will find the source code, go through the source code. I think it's pretty obvious what here happening. So let me uh, do following statement about uh, the decorated pattern. It's quite useful. You should always make sure that you your decorators and actually the classes are compatible. So I mean the classes which you decorate, like in my example, it's uh, coffee types, espresso, decaf, dark roast. So make sure that they are compatible. And it's qu quite quite interesting how such design pattern can be used. But I continue further learning of it and I wish you all the best. That's it for me.